Welcome back to Autofocus and our continuing coverage of the 9th Autofocus Motor Show and Auto Expo. We continue our coverage with some scenes from inside the motor show grounds as we spend time with the exhibitors. But before we get into it, on behalf of all of us here in Autofocus and Sunshine Television, I would first like to express my deepest condolences to those affected by Typhoon Yolanda. This is a tragedy unlike any other the Philippines has experienced in recent history. And we stand united together and with the rest of the world as we bounce back as a nation. The Night Autofocus Motor Show and Auto Expo actually coincided with the coming of the storm. And due to safety precautions, it was found prudent that the venue be stripped and reassembled if necessary. We are truly thankful that the storm did not pass through Manila and are equally happy to report that the motor show continued on even extending with the next day. Still, we share our deepest sympathies with our brothers and sisters affected by Typhoon Yolanda. And as it is, this was a common sentiment of all the exhibitors at the motor show. With Typhoon Yolanda making its way into the Philippine area of responsibility, many dreaded its arrival in Manila. Because of this, the 9th Auto Focus Motor Show and Auto Expo actually had two sessions of ingress and egress, as it many were leaning towards precautionary and safety measures first and foremost. We are one in mourning with the rest of our countrymen because of the recent tragedy, but we are optimistic, as is the rest of the country, that the Filipino will get back on his feet after this harrowing ordeal, stronger than ever. As it was to play out, Typhoon Yolanda did not pass through the metro and the motor show was able to continue. This was a bittersweet moment as the organizers were happy in the fact that the show could go on. Yet reports on the devastation in the Visayas peppered news reports. After setting up a second time and with the storm warning clear of Manila, people once again flocked to the motor show venue, likewise glad that they would be able to take part in the activities laid out for them by the presenters. Model viewing was again in full swing, and the lines for test drives were long once again. It was yet another day at the motor show, and even with a dark cloud of Typhoon Yolanda overhead, the guests who attended and the show's exhibitors were still able to get a good automobile fix. It was in fact a very trying time for the Philippines during the arrival of Typhoon Yolanda. It was the strongest recorded typhoon in recent Philippine history and surely not one to be taken lightly. Again, however, we were extremely thankful that the typhoon did not hit Manila. I personally see this as a blessing that was given to us all here in the metro and therefore it is our duty to share similar blessings with those most affected by the typhoon. It is our calling as Filipinos to help one another and I urge all of you to do so, especially now in the holiday season. That being said, we're going to take a short break. Afterwards, we're going to take you back into the 9th Autofocus Motor Show and Auto Expo to bring you closer to the exhibitors for a closer, more intimate look at what went on during the event. Stay tuned. <laughs> 